Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here with an unboxing from Biddy Bugs. I'll put a link in the description as well so you can check them out on Facebook and so on. Cassie at uh, Biddy Bugs asked me if I uh, wanted to... She had some extra isopods of a species that I was looking for and we ended up uh, working out a little bit of a trade. So I am excited to open this up. Thank you, Cassie, for sending those. Huh, I like that. Check that out. Bitty bugs. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Love that ducky face. Doesn't get much better than that. All right. There's the caution sheet right there. Environmental awareness sheet, I guess, is the technical term to give it. Got the code pack there. Oh, look at this. I wasn't aware that these were coming. This is cool. <laughs> I love that. A rubber ducky night on a rubber ducky. So cool. Cute little frog. Is that a Dendrobates vitatus, maybe? Not sure. And this is a sticker I should probably just tattoo on my forehead, I'm thinking. What do you think? <laughs> Love it. Oh, and some wee buttons. I spot jamming out on the guitar. I love it. Ooh, look at that face. And one of my... Oh, no, that's actually... That's a, a type I don't have. I think that's an Iscus Salas Mardi Gras. I do have the species, but I don't have that morph. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you for those. I, I wasn't expecting those, Cassie, but pleasant surprise. And first one here. She let me know she was sending these. Uh, Magic Potion USA line. So let's, let's get a good look at these. Let's see if we can... Oh, there's one right there. Take a look at that. Let's release them into their uh, bin along with the ones that Braden from Critters and More sent me. Get a nice, robust mix of bloodlines to start the colony with. Well, that is a big, beautiful specimen, and no mistake. Look at that. Nice dark spotting. Very, very nice one there. And big, as I was saying. Magic potions do tend to get fairly large, which is nice. Having a hard time focusing. There we go. It just took an experimental nibble on my finger. That's a beauty, all right. Let's put it down here. Let it settle. See, oh, there's another one right there. Hmm, it's really having trouble focusing, everyone. That is the fun of live streams or unboxings. See, I even used the wrong word. There's another large one. Really nice dark spotting up there near the face. Love that. Got some of different sizes going on here. There's another smaller one. There's a couple more smaller ones. Well, that one's got a lot of yellow on it, doesn't it? Nice. For a, for a little one, it's got a lot. And there's a couple, couple of wee ones there. Oh, I think one of them did not make it. 
but that happens sometimes. Looks like all the others are just fine. That one's got a ton of yellow on it. So those of you who may wonder the difference between Japanese and American line magic potions, my understanding from Kyle Candillion, who helped to uh, get the American line going, is that they were line bred for uh, additional, for high, high amounts of the yellow coloration on them. They're, a, you know, a, basically a Dalmatian or pied form of Armadillidium vulgare from Georgia. But they were line bred for high concentrations of that yellow in addition to the, the pied coloration. And Japanese uh, magic potion, as far as I know, were just basically isolated for the, the pied trait. But there may have been some selective breeding since then. Something like that. And now let's uh, look what is in here. In the next container. We have got Armadillidium Paracai. So Braden at uh, Critters and More sent me some. And uh, about the same time, Cassie and I started talking about getting some too. And it, it's perfect to get a nice uh, robust colony going. She said she had uh, plenty of these. They are fast breeders for Armadillidium. And so she said, uh, I could send you quite a few of them. And as you can see, she definitely has. So I'll have a great colony going. Thank you so much. Let's put these in the bin. Harakai, really uh, a lot of people have talked about them and they've been on my permit and I, and I just haven't gotten them until recently and I think they're pretty cool. They're kind of got an almost bluish slate sort of color to them. They're got a unique kind of tuberculated surface. Lots of little bumps their back they breed really fast i bet they have a lot of potential for uh bioactive setups uh, with the right conditions i just haven't uh, worked with them enough to you know form a strong opinion on that but that's my suspicion so maybe i'll have to try them out in some bioactives and see how they do there we go thanks for watching today i post videos every friday with live streams on wednesdays Please feel free to share, rate, comment, if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell and choose notifications all so you don't miss my next video. To my patrons at Patreon, you are absolutely amazing. Your help does a lot to keep this channel going and I appreciate it very much. And if those of you who are not patrons yet would be willing to donate as little as one US dollar a month to help me continue to produce informative content and improve in every way that I can, please click the link in the description or at the end of the video.